Hello there, this is Xiao, and welcome to today's episode of Vox FX. This tutorial is about delay and how to use it to spice up your vocals. But before I begin, let me explain a few things. We're fresh off the heels of my series on getting a great vocal sound. So if you haven't seen that yet, please do so, as it'll help get you on the right track. This video marks the start of VoxFX proper, and with it comes a new guideline for my series. If you're lost, check the archive. Nearly all of my tutorials from this point on will reference previous tutorials in some fashion. As I'd like to avoid repeating myself too much, I encourage you to check out my tutorial archive if I gloss over a concept you're not familiar with. Don't be afraid to ask questions, but many of those questions could probably be answered just by checking my older videos. To help out, I'll post links in the description to past tutorials that relate to specific concepts in the current one. With that out of the way, let's get started. Delay. You probably remember a time when someone was telling a story, and as part of that story, they were pretending to be really far away. What did they do to simulate that? Hello, 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 hello. I'm over here, here. That's an echo. An echo is what happens when a direct sound hits a hard surface like a wall or a faraway building. The sound bounces off the object and travels back to our ears, which we hear as an echo. But what if you wanted to have an echo in your music? Well, in the late 1940s and early 1950s, audio engineers figured out how to artificially create an echo. They recorded the audio to a tape, which was how they recorded things back then, but also recorded a copy of the audio to a second tape, which they then played back after a short time. They could also repeat this process and have the copy play back again and again, getting quieter every time, to simulate a real-world echo. These machines were originally known as echo boxes, but the effect eventually came to be known as tape delay. Nowadays, we do almost everything digitally, but the process of delay remains the same. Take the audio, make a copy, and then play back the copy a little while later. Delay is a really simple effect, but it has a wide variety of uses, especially on vocals. Let me show you how it works. So here's a song I worked on a while ago. I was a normal unicorn, but my life spin turned around. All that I have known has been upended, and now questions abound. Am I and yes, I am in fact a unicorn. Now this vocal has already been processed with EQ, compression, and de-essing. It also has some other delay-based effects on it, but I've turned them off for the purposes of this tutorial. Now let's pull up the delay plugin. Every delay has pretty much the same controls, so you should be able to follow along with whatever delay you have. The first controls I'll talk about are the dry volume and the input volume. The dry volume controls the level of the direct, unaffected audio. Input volume, sometimes called wet volume, controls the loudness of the delayed sound. Some delays have one knob that controls the balance between these two volumes. Next is the delay time. This controls how long the plugin waits before playing back the delayed signal. Some delays let you set the delay time in milliseconds, while others automatically synchronize the delay with the tempo of the song. This one does the latter. Next, the feedback control. This determines how many times the delay repeats itself before it trails off to silence. The higher the feedback, the more times it repeats. If you set the feedback too high, it'll keep repeating forever and might get really loud and potentially blow out your speakers, so be really careful with this one. On the other hand, if you set the feedback to zero, the delay will repeat once and then stop. Most delays also have other controls, but I won't get into those right now. Except for this one, the low pass filter. This one's labeled as cutoff frequency. In my video on equalizers, I introduce you to the high pass filter, which removes the low frequencies from a sound. A low pass filter does the opposite. It removes the high frequencies from a sound. If that sounds kind of confusing, think of it this way. A high pass filter lets the highs pass through, and the low pass filter lets the lows pass through. It's just a convention that they've been using for decades. I didn't invent it. So let's get into my standard vocal delay setup. You don't have to do these steps in order, it doesn't really matter. First, I set the volume of the delay so that it's not overpoweringly loud. Well, first let me isolate the vocal. I was a As you can hear, 
as you can hear, excuse me. The delay is really, really loud, so let's turn it down a bit. I was a normal unicorn, but, 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 but. Then I set the low pass filter. This keeps the high end of the echoes from being too distracting. Like you hear that tss, 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 every time I say a sibilant consonant. I was a normal unicorn, but my life's been turned around. Let's listen in the track. I was a normal unicorn, but my life's been turned around. Next, the delay time. If you're working with a tempo sync delay, like this one, set the delay time to something that sounds rhythmically pleasing. I'm often a big fan of this dotted eighth note delay, which is what it's set to currently, as it doesn't exactly fall on the beat, and it sounds all syncopated and cool. But you can do any time interval you like. I was a normal unicorn, but my life's been turned around. All that I have known has been up and I'm actually liking this eighth note delay a little bit more. Last, the feedback. This controls how long the delay is, which makes a big difference in how spacey it feels. Like most of this stuff, set it to taste. I was a normal unicorn, but my life's been turned around. All that I have known has been up and if your delay has other controls, feel free to mess around with those to see how they change the sound. Like this one has delay panning. Um, you can change the direction that delay panning goes each time. It's kind of cool. Um, it has a stereo offset. I think there's some plugins that have other options. So let's take a listen. I was a normal unicorn, but my life's been turned around. All that I have known been up and now question. That's pretty cool. Now let's turn off the delay and see if it makes a difference. I was a normal unicorn, but my life's been turned around. All that I have known has been up and now questions abound. Ideally, you want it to be loud enough that you can just barely hear it, but not so loud that it overpowers everything. So that's my standard delay setup. Let me show you another setup I like. This one's called Slapback Echo. If you know artists from the 60s and 50s like The Beatles or Elvis, you're probably familiar with Slapback. I prefer to use this delay for slapback echo because it has a millisecond delay time option. If you're interested in downloading it, as well as a bunch of other free plugins, check out the link in the description. I'll be using plugins like this one in a lot of my tutorials, so it's a good idea to get them now. So as before, dial in the low pass filter and set the wet level appropriately. That should be about good. However, this time, set the delay time between 80 and 20 milliseconds, which is very short compared to what we were working with before. Feel free to add a little bit of feedback as you see fit. I was a normal unicorn, but my life's been turned around. All that I have known has been up and now questions. And with that, you're instantly transported back to the 60s. I don't use this setup very often, but it creates a cool vibe when I do. Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you liked what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want more information or have any questions about delay, echo, or slapback, comment below. I'm always open for questions. And as always, if you'd like to request a VoxFX tutorial, please send me a message. Remember, if it's talky, I can talk about it. Next time, I'll talk about delay's big cousin, Reverb, and how to use it to add space to your vocals. Until then, have fun and keep making sound. Box FX. Box FX.